Good morning, CCHS. I am Derek here with Maria to bring you the daily announcements. Today is Thursday, March 7th. It is a B-Day, day 116 of the school year. Today's quote comes from Francis. He said, start by doing what's necessary, then do what's possible, and suddenly you are doing the impossible. Today we will be dining on a ham and cheese sandwich, sun chips, baked beans, orange smiles, and milk. Let's take a look at the standing announcements. Student government invites you to sign up in the office on the clipboard if you are interested in learning more about volunteering at the food pantry. Lourdes Saturno shared Friday at the Panther Rally about her experiences. If you have any questions, she is happy to help. After twerp burp, we will be having a meeting to create a plan for getting volunteers connected at the food pantry. It is twerp burp week. Let's send it over to senior class president Tanner Amos with what is going to be happening the rest of the week. Thursday is gaming day. Wear gaming t-shirts or dress like anything related to a gaming system or characters from a game. Friday is matching t-shirt day. Wear matching t-shirts with your dance date, a friend, or a teacher. Participate in this week's Swerp Burp Dress Up Days and have a fantastic week. Also this week, there is a new challenge from student government. Please help contribute to their cause of collecting hygiene items needed for the local food pantries. If the student government reaches their goal of 250 hygiene items by noon Friday, Mr. Jacobson will wear a cyclone hat while he announces during Jam the Gym. If 275 are collected, Mr. Shantz will wear Raiders gear, and if 300 items are collected, Mr. Meserol will wear Hawkeye gear one day next week. Items of need are facial tissue, dish soap, shampoo, laundry soap, toothpaste brushes, and deodorant. A collection box is near the front doors. Thank you for supporting our community. All faculty, staff, and students are invited to play Panther Pride Bingo. Pick up a playing card in the office. Follow the directions printed on the back. Have some great conversations with people in our school community. See Mrs. Eblen or Miss Dickinson for prizes. Publications is having a contest submit a piece of artwork for the first page of the yearbook. It must feature a panther in some way. The yearbook theme is Netflix, so you may make it look like a movie cover or something Netflix related. Do not include any official logo or the actual word Netflix. If your art is selected as the winner, it will be featured on the title page of the yearbook with your name and you will receive a free 2018-2019 yearbook. Be creative. Deadline for submission to the contest, March 29th. Email sub your missions to Miss Guard. CHS, welcome back to another minute and happy twerp burp week. Congratulations to our five king candidates. Start with some shout outs. Hawkeye 10 basketball, all conference, Kylan Smallwood first, Brantz Baker second, Kale Krolik honorable mention. Great job and congrats to those three. Follow up from the girls Hawkeye 10 all conference basketball, we have some all staters. Brielle Baker and Kelsey Fields, congratulations on your all-state teams. Also, if you went to the spring play or the all-school play last weekend, it was very good. Job well done. Shout out to that cast and crew. And coming up on Saturday, want to wish good luck. Individual speech con contestants, you are at Nevada on Saturday and our uh, students that are in archery. They have a state competition in Des Moines, so good luck to those two groups. Okay, let's get back to this Iowa testing again. We all know it's a new test. Many of you have been on the test preparation site and practice, but I just wanted to go over that because I've had several students ask me. Um, they're worried about meeting the incentive. The incentive's a big deal, um, and they wanted to know how they could could practice. So the easy way, if you haven't been shown this, is a new test is called the Iowa Statewide Assessment of Student Progress, or ISASP. So if you just Googled ISASP practice, it will take you to uh, a Pearson access point. Okay, so if you just Googled that, <clears throat> you will go to ISASP-Pearson access, and then you can just click on the test you want to prepare for. Okay, they have tests in reading, writing, math, and science, and just click on your grade level and you can go through those tests. So if you have five minutes and you want to look at a few questions, or you have 30 minutes, or you want to use 40 minutes, however much time, 
okay, you can do this anytime. So if you want to be prepared, that's the way to prepare. Now, when we get back from spring break, okay. um, I will meet with the ninth graders, the 10th graders, and the 11th graders separately uh, on seminars, and I will give you a better idea of, of what that incentive is going to look like. But <clears throat> we're aware that the tests are different, um, so we'll make sure that uh, it's fair to all kids taking the test. So um, I strongly suggest you spend some time preparing for it uh, because it does pay off in, in the end. Anyway, a um, couple things to end. Number one, uh, be the reason someone smiles today. Okay, Be the reason you make somebody's day. You can do it in a big way or a little way, but just be the reason someone smiles. Also, make sure you thank a student council member. Okay, Student councils put in a great deal of time and effort to make Twerp Burp Week fun. We have the Jam the Gym Friday, have the Dance Friday. So if you see your class representative, a student council member, or an officer, make sure you just simply give them, hey, thank you, appreciate your effort. They do put on a lot of, uh, or do put in a lot of time. That's all we have for the Messero Minute today. Have a great day. That is all we have on the standing announcements. Let's send it over to take a look at the seminar schedule. Today during seminar, there will be an FBLA chapter meeting and the girls track team needs to meet in the cast classroom for their headshots. Tomorrow, the boys track team and the boys and girls golf team need to meet in the cast classroom for their headshots. This is all we have on the seminar schedule. Let's take a look at the activities calendar. Congratulations to Kelsey Fields for being selected to the ICA All-State second team. Tonight is the end of the year banquet for the COM wrestling team at Crescent Middle School starting at 6. The CCHS vocal department will perform at their spring concert tonight at 7 in the auditorium. Tomorrow is Jam the Gym and Twerp Burp King Coronation at 6 in the gymnasium. Admission is $5 at the door and wristbands can be purchased in the activities office all week. This is a fundraiser for the Peppers. The Tort Burp Dance will follow Jam the Gym from 9 to 11 in the high school commons. Admission is $5 per person. Doors for the dance will open at 9. If you have any out-of-town guests, you need to sign them up by noon tomorrow with Megan Carroll. You don't need to have a date or to attend the dance, and you won't want to miss a night of fun with great DJs, one of which who is a great coach and awesome custodian too. Sunday will be the girls' basketball banquet. The banquet will start at 3 in the high school commons. That is all we have on the activities calendar. We will send it back to the newsroom to wrap up the announcements. There are no birthdays to celebrate at CCHS today. Have a great day, everyone, and always remember to respect yourself, others, and this place.